In this video, I'm going to talk about estimating products of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers. So let's say we want to estimate the product of 329 and 28. So when you want to get the product of this and we want to do it mentally, what we can do best is just to at least estimate the product. So when you want to estimate the product of two numbers, you have to round the both the multiplier and the multiplicand to the nearest of their biggest place value. So in our multiplicand, we have a hundreds place. So we want to round this to the nearest hundreds place. So, if we want to round up, we look at the number at the right side of 3, which is 2. So, that means we will round down. And so, the result will be 300. And then, we will round up the multiplier with its nearest tens place, because tens is the biggest place value for this number. So, since the number at the right is 8, so we round up and it becomes 30 and then we will multiply the these two numbers so when we multiply multiples of tens or hundreds or thousands we can just do it mentally that's the essence of estimating why do we need to round up it's because the result will be easier to multiply mentally so how do you multiply mentally with numbers involving zeros? So what you will do is just transfer the zeros in the product. And then the, the remaining number, you just multiply them. So 3 times 3 is 9. So 300 times 30 is 9,000. So this is the estimated product. So let us see what is the actual product if we will multiply 329 and 28 so it's actually 9212 which is not far from the estimated product now let's have another example we have 1906 multiplied by 64 so we want to get the estimated product of this four digit multiplicand and a two digit multiplier so to do that let us round off these two uh, numbers so let's round off 1906 by its nearest uh, thousands place because that is the biggest place value so since the number at the right of 1 is 9 so we round up to 2000 and for 64 since the number at the right of 6 is 4 that means we round down so it will be 60 and then we multiply so let us do the shorter way to multiply numbers with zeros so let's put all the zeros in the product and then multiply the remaining number 2 times 6 is 12 so the estimated product is 120,000 now let's compare it to the actual product so the actual product is 121,984 where it is not that far from the estimated product but surely the process is very very different now how about this example 713 multiplied by 889 so this is multiplying a three digit number by another three digit number so this means this is gonna be a long way to solve it so it's gonna be a quite difficult to find the actual product and so let's get the estimated product 
So let's round off 713. So let's look at the number at the right of 7, which is 1. So which means we round down. And then we round off 889. So let's look at the number at the right of the 8 in the hundreds place. So the number at the right is also an 8. That means we round up to 900. And then we get the product by doing it in a shorter way. So let us copy all the zeros in the product. And then we multiply the remaining number. 7 times 9 is 63. So the estimated product is 630,000. Let's compare this result to the actual product. The actual product is 633,857, where the result uh, of this is not that far from the estimated product. But the process of the two are very, very different, with actual product as a very long method. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.